oh, I needed a rest. I need a rest and that is what I'm doing. So just thought I'd share what's going on with me at the minute. I, obviously, as you know, the last three weekends were pretty intense on the bike. So I did Fred Witten, a 400k ride, and then I did the struggle. And it's caught up with me, I think. I've not been performing very well on the bike. I've tried to do a session yesterday. Do you know I'm being coach? Tried to do a session yesterday. And it was quite a, a simple-ish session. It was just five um, five minutes, five um, five intervals of six minutes um, at watts that I could do easily. And the last one, I just couldn't do it. And I just felt like I had nothing left in my legs. And I was like, I can't do it. And yeah, so that's why I'm having a little, little rest from intensity or anything too crazy for the next week or so, because I just need to just rest it out. And I feel like I want to share that. I share all like the, the big rides that I do. I share all the, the different stuff of what I've learned from it. And this is what I've learned from this is sometimes you just need a break. Sometimes you can, I don't think I've done too much. I just feel like I've not rested enough in between. So <clears throat> there, that's how I'm feeling at the minute. So today I'm just gonna do an hour's ride, just like a very steady, no set wattage, just a very steady pull around just to keep my legs, legs going. Um, yeah, that is what I'm up to. And I think I'm sometimes quite hard on myself. I'm like, no, I've got a plan. I need to stick to a plan. And sometimes it's okay to say, I'm not gonna be able to stick to that plan today. So I need to look after my body and listen to myself and just enjoy it and just rest it off. And so that I'm raring to go, like when I do have an event or when I do have something coming up. So yes, I think that is, <laughs> that's just my update really because I know that there'll be people equally that do the same thing that are really hard on themselves and there's no need to be like plans change and you I think the overriding thing is you have to listen to your body because if you don't you're going to push past and you're going to get ill and you're going to I don't know it's not it's not good it's not good you don't want to get ill and so <clears throat> I'm just having a little rest of this weekend I don't even know what I'm going to do I might have a little ride I might not I might go running, I might do park run for a change. Oh my gosh, a park run. Oh my God, what's happening to me? Um, so it's gonna be a cycling channel, you know that. I just need to have a little break from it, I think. Um, and when I was speaking to my coach about it, um, I messaged him and was just like, this is how I'm feeling. I just feel completely exhausted. I just feel like I can't do these sessions. And he was so, so good. He was like, right, well, this is for a number of reasons. This is just like paraphrasing what he said. But he's like, those rides that you've done, like for calorie wise, it's really, it takes a while to build that back up because you're in so much deficit to be able to build up your stores back up again, to be able to do these kind of rides. So, so calories is one thing. Another thing he said is, um, what was the other thing he said? So calories and then obviously like sleep. He said that fatigue from that is obviously, it, 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 it does take a while to recover from. So I just need to sleep more and eat more, which I mean, sounds great, doesn't it? Just eating more, sleeping more. So I just wanted to share that with you. I've not got anything specific. Well, I've got this, I say I've got not got anything specific planned. I've got a 600 in a few weeks and then I've got, then I'm going to the Alps at the end of June. So prepare for some amazing um, videos and footage from that. Cause it's gonna be epic. Those of you, oh, the views, those climbs, I can't wait. And so that's part of reason why I want to just kind of take it easy for a while so that I'm like, raring again to go for that so I just wanted to share that with you just so you might learn the same thing from it don't be so hard on yourself and just take a little time out if you need to because plans change and you just have to be adaptable I think so I think that's it for today that's a nice short video god it's four minutes long four minutes long my videos recently been like 10-15 minutes do you even like them that long do you prefer them shorter do you want them longer I mean I'll, I'm happy to do whatever Happy to do whatever. I just feel really chilled out at the minute. Like, genuinely just feel like, ugh, just so relaxed. Um, got um, another video as well this week that I'm gonna do is bite boxes. Someone asked me today and I was like, I've literally just finished editing this video. So I've got four different bite boxes um, to review. So you can see the difference. If you're looking at going abroad and you want to look at some different bite boxes and you don't know which one to get then this video is for you. That's going to be up on Friday at five. So yeah, uh, I will leave it there because I've just waffled on for another, another whole minute, but 
Oh well, right. Anyway, I'm off. I'm gonna go and have a little poodle on my bike for an hour and I'll see you next video. Mm -hmm.